problem with chipping is primarily we're not on the green. And the reason for chipping is there'll be some kind of obstacle in the way, more than likely uneven ground. What we're trying to achieve is to get the ball to fly and then roll towards the target. So if you can putt, putt. Even from off the green, if the ground's perfectly flat, use the putter. If not, use a different golf club and make the ball fly. On this occasion, we're going to use a sand wedge. Now, the face of the putter was pretty much flat, and you pointed that at the target. Now we're using a golf club with an angled face. It's the angle on the face that makes the ball fly. OK, so we achieve this by using exactly the same routine as we did while putting. Aim, hold, stand, hit it, hold the finish, and have a little look. So you can see the similarities with putting. It's the same routine, it's basically the same stroke. It's the Y shape, and it's the Y shape that moves. No flicking, I've warned you about flicking. Keep the Y shape. 